Hey fairies, this is Asia Aya. I wanted to um, talk to you guys real quick about PTSD and the black community, children and um, parent relationship. Now, I can only speak on what I've seen. I cannot speak on other cultures um, and, and maybe we're all just alike. But I know in, um, in America, black people, colored, uh, what is the right word? Okay, black, I don't like saying that. <laughs> black people in um, America are many shades of, of brown to really light to really dark okay and we're not all from Africa some of us are Native American and we have a really rich deep history that we need to get back into so that we can learn how to be one with spirit again because either even if you get away from it that doesn't change who you are but the ignorance of not knowing who you are will keep you chasing after something that you already really have, which is abundance. We have PTSD family. We have post-traumatic stress disorder. And there's an author, um, I don't remember her name, but you can look this up. She calls it slave post-traumatic stress disorder. And I feel like we're getting better and better each generation I really do I am a little bit better than my mom you know um, but I don't have children yet because I don't want to be just a little bit better I I couldn't bear to hurt my children in um, a similar fashion that my mom hurt me and I was sitting out here thinking about it and it's not about her hurting me but excuse me about how hurt she must be in order for her to hurt me like that like how far away she is from actual feeling nurtured inside you know the stress her body must be under in order for her to have the reactions that she has what is she holding back inside you know that would make her react to people in violent in the violent ways that she does and the only way I know the sensations inside is because they were passed on to me and um, by nature I'm a more gentle spirit so I internalized everything into self-hate into not living out my dreams my purpose into you know how you can just go on a downward spiral when you feel like you're worthless and you're a bad person. I am recovering from that. I'm recovering from that. I am, I, I, I feel lucky because the intelligence within me is way stronger than the stress that I was under. The intelligence and within me goes goes towards healing and um, I'm not perfect and I'm not perfectly healed and I don't know if I expect myself to ever be I feel like it's gonna be like a lifelong learning everything I didn't learn when I was growing up I'll be learning it stay tuned it's like I'll be learning that I right, I'm I'm learning you know and um, I'm a late bloomer. I'm what you would call a late bloomer. And um, I don't mind sharing. It. I don't mind sharing my story. So if you guys want to have more conversations about this, just please comment, like, subscribe. I'm definitely going to talk more about it. I feel like it's important. It's time. It's way past time. But, you know, the more people that heal, the better.
peace